got today here at uh, Welcome Stadium? Well, first, we're happy to be back after for our 26th year here in Dayton, uh, hometown, uh, Martin Bayless Blue Island Free Football Camp. Uh, we've got a good group of high school athletes here this afternoon, and uh, we had a good group of young guys out this morning. So we're excited to be here in town working with our guys and helping our young men get better on the field and off the field. You know, what's one thing, you know, it's hard to take away so much from, from one day, but what's one thing you hope uh, these kids uh, take away at the end of the day? I'd say two things. Number one is that each one of these kids should be able to learn one thing that can help them be a better person and a better football player today, okay? we got enough NFL coaches out here, enough NFL players who have grown up as young kids who have faced the challenges and overcome some of the challenges. So their advice is invaluable. Uh, so they can definitely learn something that can make them a better player in person today. And the second thing is meet a new friend. you got kids out here from all different high schools. we got kids out here from Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton. we got some couple kids from Michigan. They can learn something from somebody that they didn't know before they got here. So make a friend. Uh, before you leave camp today. What does it mean to be able to have this, you know, free camp and have so much, you know, NFL experience, uh, you know, out on the field teaching these guys that, you know, it, it, you know, like you said, it is free. Well, here's one thing you got to understand is that, uh, you know, we do this because we have passion for what we do. Uh, somebody did it for us as young men, and all we're doing is continue that cycle to come back to our home communities and give back to our kids. Um, you know, I don't think it's very hard to get NFL players to do that because I think most of us are natural at doing that. Uh, we all have come from similar backgrounds, whether you grew up in Miami, Florida, or Chicago, uh, or even here in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, a lot of the things that we go through in the locker room is universal. And uh, any time that you can give back to a kid to help change his life, you never know what that small thing is that's going to change a kid's life. And uh, when it does happen, you'll see it. So we're happy to be here, and we know that history has shown us. Uh, last year we had... Uh, 40 NFL players in uniform that went to a Martin Bayless free football camp. Just a month ago in the NFL draft, we had eight kids that get drafted that went to a Martin Bayless free football camp. So we know the message that we're giving kids as far as being a better person, uh, preparing them for going to college and getting them ready for the real world. I think that little stuff that we give them can help them just a little bit because the kids who don't get this information, they're at a disadvantage. The ones that come and take advantage of the information, they are at an advantage. Anything that we didn't touch on that uh, you want to add? Uh, you know, all I would like to say to, that I didn't say is that uh, I want to thank all the people who've been behind us over the last 26 years. I mean, that's a long time. We've outlived our, our cycle. Um, there's kids who are at this camp whose mom and dads, or not moms, but dads went to this camp as high school kids. So we outlived our cycle. The most important thing with that is that we have a brand that we built here in Dayton. I'm from Dayton. I'm proud to be here. Uh, I got a lot of friends, a lot of my ex high school teammates, ex college teammates are out here coaching kids today. So it's a great opportunity to come back and uh, and, and be uh, impacting people's lives. I mean, when you try to empower people with information, uh, you get a lot of results, and we're happy to have the results that we've gotten over the years.